Hey, what's going on everybody? In my hands are the Nike Zoom X Invincible Run Fly Knit 3s in the Noise Aqua colorway. Now, how did I end up with this pair? Well, let's take a trip down memory lane to yesterday morning as I trekked my way all the way up to Washington Heights in New York City for the official announcement of Nike's partnership with the Armory. We are teaming up to help create more access to running and to celebrate the power of community, which is so, so core to that sport. That's right, the Nike Track and Field Center at the Armory is all about building community, much like Soul Savvy, the heartbeat of its existence. Now, a bunch of media members and influencers were given these Invincible Run 3s to test out on the track. There were two other incredible colorways on site. There was a vault colorway and what seemed to be a lavender colorway. All right, Jarrell, I need initial thoughts because I haven't got a chance to put them on yet. They feel like walking on clouds, bro. I can't even front. That's a nice colorway too, though. I don't know what the official name of that colorway is. I'm documenting behind the scenes today, so I'm not really dressed up to run. The facility was absolutely enormous. There was a pole vaulting station, a long jump station, a 60 meter dash, way more than I can capture. Participants did race walking to warm up, then sprints, and a relay race at the end to really put the Zoom X cushioning to test. Now let's talk about the running shoes. There are three main improvements from the Invincible Run 2s to the Invincible Run 3s, and you can read all about it here. Or, I can have Tim Ramirez, Nike Senior Director of Running in North America, tell you all about the updates. First, cooling where you need it most in the upper. That's an update from the previous two iterations. Right? So as your foot gets hot and you start to run, we've got an evolved fly knit up top, which allows breathable mesh where your foot needs it most. So it's an improved fit with some cabling in the midfoot to keep you locked down and stable. Second. It's higher and wider. What does that mean? It's further off the ground, the heel 40 millimeters in the back, stack height 31 millimeters in the forefoot, giving you a nine millimeter offset, which for you guys, all you need to know is that means a smooth as butter transition from heel to toe, allowing you to pick your pace, whether you want to just chill or you want to go for a tempo run, this is a great shoe for that. And then third is the bounce, the Zoom X foam. Everyone should be super, super excited about Zuma. If you like the Vaporfly or the Alpha Fly, you will love this shoe as well. The midsole is actually shaped like a rocker, which will also contribute to that smooth ride. So I hope you enjoy this today out on the track. I want to see some really fast times, some personal records. I don't want to see some pole hammies, okay? Uh, but we'll be there cheering you on. So thank you all for having us today. I'm going to talk about the Aaron. I'm not going to lie. I kind of wish I participated in the races yesterday. It would have been cool to see myself on the Jumbotron during the introductions, but next time. Now in terms of sizing, I recommend going true to size. I haven't really put any miles in these due to the gross weather outside, but I did get a chance to slip them on for a couple minutes and boy, do they feel nice. I love how the shoe wraps around my ankles and Achilles. That little elevated lining really hits the right spot for me. I mean, the Zoom X cushioning looks like a beast. Look at how chunky that foam is. And I say chunky in the best way. I'd be curious to see how the traction on the outsole holds up. Most of my other running shoes are cooked and faded, but again, that just comes with logging in a lot of miles. So we'll see. Now these Nike Zoom X Invincible Run Flyknit 3s will be releasing sometime early February. No exact release date or price point just yet, but make sure you follow Soul Savvy for more sneaker news. And also, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them as uh, timely as possible. So hopefully this video was informative and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>